Now at 630, blood donations here in our region and across the U.S. continue to be in short supply, and the impact can be very real, affecting people right here in our community. Tonight, we're introducing you to a Ridgefield teenager who gets regular blood transfusions as part of his cancer treatment. Fox 12's Kendra Kent has the story. We recently met 16-year-old Joshua Bell. He's a great kid who loves music and making films. He also has bone cancer, and the battle is tough. He spends a lot of time in the hospital, and he's often sick. But when he gets a blood transfusion, it's a game changer, helping him feel better in between chemo rounds. His story and fight is now inspiring other people to donate blood, and the city of Ridgefield has even declared March to be Blood Donors Month. Roll over, maybe? Yeah. It's always a good day when the entire Bell family can be together. These days, it's more rare. This guy definitely gets excited when Joshua comes home from the hospital. Home is where 16-year-old Joshua Bell can see his brother, the family dog, and just be a teen. The 16-year-old Ridgefield boy loves making music and videos and sharing his passion with others. Anna, don't you? I do a YouTube channel that I put that on. And my brother and I also have a channel where we do film stuff. So video editing, that's a big thing. The other big thing in his life, hospitals. I have uh, osteosarcoma, uh, which is a cancer that uh, starts in your bone. Um, so I had that surgically removed. But obviously within all of that. Uh, there's chemo. It all started with random hip pain in June. He was diagnosed with the rare bone cancer in September and has endured more than 75 nights in the hospital. One day at a time, there's definitely lows and highs, but I have thousands of people praying for me, so that makes a big impact. Um, I, I mean, I felt supported every step of the way. And, it's tough, but there's nothing you can do about it, so I just have to take it as it comes. The same goes for round after round of chemotherapy that's keeping him alive, but making him sick. That affects me for quite a while, and then that's when I really feel like uh, at a low point, I'm really tired, um, and my blood counts are just really low. And that's where blood transfusions come in, critical to his recovery and health. I'll go from feeling terrible one, one day, and then I get some blood, come home, and then the next day it's pretty incredible, actually, how much better it makes me feel. Precious blood. It's in a critical shortage right now, with blood banks struggling to meet demand. It's something Joshua's parents know all too well, both at home and at work. His mom is a pediatrician and his dad is a hospital pharmacist. Being in the in the medical field, that was one of the first things I thought of. Um, unfortunately, knowing a little too much about what chemotherapy entails um, and knowing that blood supplies have been low. And yeah, it's, it's something you don't think about unless it comes in front of your face. Fortunately, so far, Joshua hasn't had any trouble getting the blood that he needs, and his story is inspiring others to give. The city of Ridgefield has declared March Blood Donor Month in honor of Joshua. Friends, family, classmates, and community members have been donating their blood in his name. And it's really cool to see people encouraging others to donate. Where that blood will go and who it will help, nobody really knows. But Joshua and his family know the impact blood makes on his life. We're so grateful that he's able to be sustained with these blood transfusions. It just literally makes you want to go, OK, how am I going to pay that forward in the future? The message, donating blood is simple, while the impact is tremendous. That is a family that literally you know, is experiencing that right now, um, you know, you can make a big difference in, in one day. Bloodworks Northwest is holding a blood drive this month in Joshua's name. So far, 44 people have donated in honor of him. Bloodworks tells us there are hundreds of open blood donation appointments right now across Portland, and they are asking you to donate as well. If you're interested, I'll post the link to their website in this story at kptv.com. Reporting in studio, Kendra Kent, Fox 12 Oregon.